Um, I feel good now. Oh my gosh, my cat's in here. You know what's been really freaking me out lately? Social media. Uh, it just has my social media usage, my screen time, my posts. Everything has been kind of just like hitting me. And you're probably like, what does this have to do with art? And I plan to record a podcast episode on this about why social media is kind of scaring me right now. Here's my thing. As an artist, social media is kind of a scary place. You don't want to change who you are when it comes to your art because your art is kind of another identity of yours or it kind of like, um, it comes from your identity, I think. It comes from who you are, it comes from how you think and whatever. But recently I realized how a lot of stuff revolves around, I gotta get a post up. It's a place where comparison is so easy you see people who have already made it to success and it looks like wow that's not fair how are they there and I'm not and I'm not there yet you know I don't know it's just so many different things that like social media just like causes in your brain especially as an artist like you see people who have these opportunities and you don't see the hard work that went into it because they're already there and then it's a lot easier to compare yourself and then you start to feel like this weird guilt inside yourself like you're not doing enough and then that's just like that sucks. You don't want to feel guilt while you're trying to work towards something that you supposedly want to do. Anyway, I want to work on some studies in this video. I think that's what I'm going to do. But first, I have a homework assignment that is actually pretty important. I have a Spanish class. And in this Spanish class, you have to do a video chat with a fluent Spanish speaker from a, a Spanish country. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Gusto conocer. Gracias. Gracias. Adios. Adios. Not gonna lie, that was a bit of a disaster. I feel like I knew at the beginning all of the stuff like to say in Spanish, but then like I got there and I'm like, I don't know anything. So I just kept saying C or no. I told her my favorite color is yellow because I couldn't think of the name of my real favorite color, which is like green. I gotta do that again at some point and I'm kind of scared. Hello, this is my new palette scraper. Um, I bought it off of Amazon and it comes with like, let me see, one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine blades which is an odd number um why nine i think ten should be the number of blades it looks like it has a battery section right here um i think that's where you put i think that's where you put your spare blade so you don't lose them let's see without the casing you're gonna have to take the casing off I had to switch my SD card because it ran out of storage halfway through me like scraping my palette and I was kind of upset when I looked up and I realized it stopped recording because it was a really satisfying experience. Hold on, let me get this mounted up on my um, on my tripod. I realized, actually I've known this for a while, color matching is not my forte. I noticed this while painting my other paintings and I'm like I really gotta sit down and work on this because a lot of times I just work with my color palette and it really may not be true to actual skin tones. Here's the thing, I learned mixing colors in in acrylic paint. I just used probably like your primary colors in white and black. From there, I kind of like started using burnt sienna just to like help me mix the skin tones. I need to venture out. You know, you can make skin tones with all colors and I only stick to burnt sienna and ultramarine blue and that only really gives you one kind of tone. It doesn't really give you like a whole layout of colors. frowned upon the use of social media when you feel like you're falling into a creative block and sometimes you just can't help it. Sometimes you really just need a reference. I don't think I'm in a creative block right now, so Pinterest it is. I'm gonna run to the store and I'm gonna get some ultramarine blue. I don't have any yellow medium. Wait, I have to see if they're on sale right now. If they're not on sale, then I'm not going. Yes, and tomorrow they will not be. We are going right now.
have a recording. Okay, all right, got my artist sweater on sweatshirt excuse me i end up like doing a whole bunch of other things like working on assignments going to the gym going to the grocery store and then i always forget that i have something to work on so that's what we're gonna do is what I have it's been a few days actually again it's a study not supposed to be perfect I'm working on colors colors is what I want to get better at because you know uh, I don't like mixing the same exact colors over and over and using them for a bunch of different paintings color mixing still working on it thanks for joining me for this study